In the Laurentian Hills, just north of Montreal, the summer tourist industry has always been based on scenic forests, magical valleys, and crystal clear lakes, attracting thousands of swimmers to lakeside resorts. But now these lakes and the rivers that feed them are facing a threat by an invisible menace, a direct result of this area's economic success. What was once a pure and pristine lake started to be overwhelmed with bacteria. Blue-green algae, also known as cyanobacteria, are microscopic organisms that have been around for billions of years. They're present in all freshwater bodies and are safe when their numbers are low. The problem is that blue-green algae proliferate when runoffs from seemingly innocent human activities seep into the ground and infect the water system. The algae then grow at a tremendous rate, invading lakes and rivers, and can cause serious skin irritations and digestive ailments to swimmers, as well as serious damage to the ecosystem by promoting unnatural growth of water-based plants, strangling the lakes and sucking out their oxygen. Human waste runoff is a factor in triggering the growth of blue-green algae, but phosphates from detergents are more damaging, and even they are outdone by fertilizers and pesticides. Virtually everyone here is contributing to the problem, doing laundry, washing dishes, fertilizing lawns. Quebec's government is aware of this and is promoting the public's cooperation to limit the use of the most damaging chemicals. The, the municipality has also decided to create a band of 10 meters or 32 feet which must be left in its wild state. So the people with the lawns uh, will have to allow this first 10 meters to grow back to its original state. But measures like that might not be enough. The government strictly monitors water quality and identifies lakes where levels of blue-green algae are higher than normal. Sometimes, critics say, putting lakes on the danger list when they're only marginally affected, causing hardship to the local tourist industry. Experts say curbing the threat of blue-green algae will require environmentally safe products for consumers and connecting all housing to public sewers. Meanwhile, the threat will increase as the population grows and there are more lawns to keep green. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.